Hey, it's Yuri. We're going to go through all of the Marvel toy biz up to 1994, so X-Men, X-Force, Marvel superheroes, all that stuff. I made this nice little graphic of all the images on the back so we can just circle and check them all off as we go. I have pretty much all of them, and we're not going to go up to the 1995 stuff that's like this. Only these style. So let's start off with 1991, the original X-Men. Then we'll go to the X-Men in the middle, X-Force, and then end it off on the original Marvel superheroes. So starting with Wolverine 1, we've got Wolverine 1 right over here. He's got the removable mask. And from what I know, this is an original 1991 because it doesn't have the J-hook. It's got the normal hook. And the back graphic is this one where there is a re-release in 1993 of the same ones and they'll have a J-hook. Next up would be Black Costume Storm. We unfortunately only have Silver Costume Storm, which comes in later, so we need to find that one. Then we have White Wings Archangel. And right here I've got White Wings Archangel and then I also have Silver Wings Archangel, which comes in, I guess I actually don't have that variant. I don't have all the variants printed out on here. He comes in later. And this one is cool because it's an original one, but nobody has punched that out. Does that make it more valuable? I'm not sure. Oh, and I actually have the Archangel matching card back there. That's actually pretty sick. I had no idea. Then we got Nightcrawler. So I don't have my own Nightcrawler yet. This one I borrowed from my buddy Mark who got me back into all the action figures and stuff. And this is a 1993 reprint because it's got the J-hook. And as you can see, this is what the back of a reprint looks like instead of the back of the other ones. Next up on the list will be a white striped Cyclops, which we have right over here with our other two Cyclops. So this one is mine. And this is an original 91 because it's got that hook and not the J hook. I think the thing lights up. I don't know. I don't really open these. I opened them all as a kid and I don't have them anymore. So I guess I'll never know. And see it's original. There's the back. There's also this variant where he's got yellow shorts and just a blue shirt and yellow boots. Oh, I actually didn't never seen this photo. I think this is from Europe stuff because this is a European one. Look, it's got all the different languages on the back and all the different languages here. I much prefer the English only. And then Europe stuff was made by Tycho. So that's kind of cool too. Oh, whoa, he is here. I need to update my list. Next up will be Colossus. And I don't have my own Colossus yet. So Mark sent me this one, which is also a European Tycho with a bunch of different languages. Let's get that up for you. And I think it's a 93 because it doesn't have the, oh no, it's an original 91 because it has this hook, unless that's a Europe thing that I don't know about. Yeah, it's probably a Europe thing because it also has that interesting back that's different than the other ones. Next up is the bad guys. So we've got Juggernaut, Magneto, and Old Apocalypse, and Old Magneto. And those guys are located... we got Juggernaut, Old Magneto, and Old Apocalypse. Okay, so this Juggernaut is... Oh, card matching. That's pretty awesome. It is a 91 because it doesn't have a J hook. And this is what the back looks like. This Magneto is Mark's as well. It is a reprint from 93 because it's got the J hook. These little magnetic parts, I guess, stick to them. And it's got a removable helmet where the newer one doesn't. And this is what the back of this one looks like. And this is my old Apocalypse. I think everything extends on this guy. I remember having it as a kid. This is a 93 because it's got the J-hook. And this is what the back looks like. But it's got the old graphics. Is it a 93? 91. Weird. I'm going to have to look that up. So now let's move on to the 1992 X-Men in the middle. First, we're going to start off with Wolverine 2. Awesome figure. I still have mine from when I was a kid, but he's got a broken arm. Um, let's see what's on the back. The back has a whole bunch of stuff, old ones and newer ones. This is cool. I paid 40 bucks for this recently. Really good condition card. Next up is Forge and then Iceman. 
Forge is cool. He helped Cable travel back in time from the cartoons. I think there's a variation where the holster and the gun is red or, ye or yellow, I mean. I think this is the normal one. And that's what the back looks like. Next up is Iceman, but I think I have the older Iceman with the blue sled instead of the earlier white sled. So then this should be a 1993 instead of a 92. Yep, 93. And that's what the back looks like. Next we have Mr. Sinister. And his little thing in the middle lights up, which is pretty cool. And then this is the 92. The 93 has a full red cape, which would be cool to have. And this is what the back looks like. And then we've got old Sabretooth, which is kind of weird. Like, was even any cartoons? I just went by cartoons, so that was all I cared about. He was cool, though. He could, like, switch out the middle thing and get a slash. And let's see. This is what the back looks like. And then lastly, we've got Wolverine 3. And Wolverine 3 has a yellow suit, but then there's also Wolverine 2.5 I saw on a website, which is also pretty cool. I never remember seeing him in that outfit. But I dig it. Very cool figure. And he's got the pop-out claws. So that's pretty sick. Okay, next up we've got the next 1992, starting with Weapon X Wolverine, and there he is. Fourth edition. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> and this has the red trunks. I think there's a variation where he's got blue trunks and red cables, and that one's super rare and super expensive. And this is what the back looks like. Next up is Banshee, but I don't have Banshee. Sorry, everybody. And then we got Gambit. Gambit I put next to Rogue. Pretty cool figure. It's got the coat. If you take them off, you can never pretty much get it back on. And, ooh, we got a Toys R Us sticker here. We still have Toys R Us in Canada, by the way, for all you Americans. Wolverine 3, and then Sauron, our flying bird friend. He is an evil mutant right there. And there's a Sauron variant with red shorts, and I think that's more valuable. This one is English and French, which I kind of don't like because it just kind of clutters up the graphic design. So I'm going to try to get all-American ones. And that's what the back looks like. Last guy in that set of photos is Magneto 2. This one's in English-French, so I want to replace that too. And this guy's helmet does not come off. He comes with a gun, which doesn't make any sense. And if you look at the back, that's what it looks like. Next up, Silver Samurai, Morph, and Beast. So let's get those guys. I mean, this guy was shiny chrome. How could you not like that? And there's the back of that card. Morph, one of my favorites. He was like the coolest character. He was only in like one episode, and then he came back evil, blah, blah, blah. And you have different masks you can put on. I actually still have one of these from when I was a kid. And uh, that's what the back looks like. And Beast. This Beast actually has a French sticker on there, I think. And uh, I don't like that. So I'm going to have to get a different Beast. He's got like a chin-up thing. He's got jumping action. And uh, we've got a huge sticker on the back with different language stuff on there. So I'm going to need to replace this Beast. Cool figure though, always like this one. All right, then we got Random Trevor Fitzroy and Robot Wolverine 6. The Random was cool, because they had big arms that were kind of just guns. Uh, I don't remember him from any show or anything, but definitely a cool action figure just for selling to kids. Like this guy's actually sick as a toy. Trevor Fitzroy. Uh. Trevor Fitzroy, no idea who this guy was, but he had futuristic crystal armor, which is pretty awesome as a toy. Don't remember it as a kid ever. And here's the back looks like. Crystal armor, yes.
and yeah, we're jumping years a bit, but oh, let's get Robot Wolverine. Okay, this is an awesome figure, but it's also got one of those other language French stickers, which sucks. Uh, I don't even remember this toy, but it's definitely cool. I don't know why it's called Albert. I think that's a comic thing. And here's the back. Okay, so this is kind of taking a little too long, so let's cut to it. Strong guy. Then we got Wolverine, um, fifth edition. And then I also have the two KBB variations, or KB variations, green and blue. So that's pretty awesome. You could only get it at a special store. Then Omega Red. I think he was a Russian bad guy. Really cool figure. Probably one of the cooler figures. This one's a double language one. Maybe I should go back to doing them all properly. Apocalypse. Okay, this was Apocalypse 2 where he looked a lot more muscly. This guy was pretty awesome. Definitely cooler than Apocalypse 1, at least looks wise. And then Bishop and Tusk. Bishop traveled back in time. I think Cable did too, but yeah, Bishop was awesome. Uh, in the cartoon. And then Tusk. Don't remember him from the show, but the toy was cool. He had this little guy that jumped into his back. Uh, really enjoyed playing with this as a kid, for sure. Okay, next one, 94. We got start with Senyaka, who I photoshopped in there because he's not actually on any cards. He was a Walmart, or not on the back of any cards. He was a Walmart exclusive. Uh, he had a whip. I don't think anyone cared about him, but I think he was in the comics. Cool character. Rogue. Right here. And what's cool is sometimes you get one with like eyeliner, sometimes you don't. And this Canadian one has different art on the front than the American one. Bone breaker. Uh... Never had this one as a kid, but it's cool because he was a car. And yeah, cool robot tank car guy. And we got Chode, the Chode. Don't know anything about this one. Box is a little damaged, but I guess you can throw people. It would have been fun to play with for sure with the Chode. Raza. Where is Raza? Don't know anything about this guy, but they wanted to show off his ponytail, so they put his head sideways. I guess he's a sword fighting gun guy. Uh, definitely looks cool. Don't know anything about him. Next is Keelan. This guy like a tiger or something. No idea. Looks cool though. And last for that collection, we have Wolverine 7th edition in street clothing. Every Wolverine is cool. There's no exception. I would have played with this as a kid. Oh, look at that. Street tough. Okay, the next one I had to Photoshop Maverick into because I guess he was released later on his own, but he was released as a two pack from KB in this color wave with Trevor Fitzroy. So there's my 1994 Maverick or three Maverick. Professor X, he's cool, huge figure. Also that was pretty awesome. He came with guns that he had in his drawers on his chair. His little, I don't know why he had guns, it's Professor X. You can just destroy people's minds, but wicked figure. Normal Cyclops. Because playing with these Cyclops kind of sucked. Because this is the Cyclops he knew from the show. He's got like a backpack, he lights up. He's got a gun too. Awesome Cyclops. Love this one. Ahab. All right, no idea what's up with this dude. <laughs> this guy looks cool. We got like a peg leg. I think he's a pirate, a harpoon shooting gun, 
cool face. Don't know what up, what's up with him, but awesome figure to have. Long shot. Okay, where's long shot? Long shot. I don't remember where he's from, but he's got a mullet, so he's definitely early 90s, late 80s, living life. And I guess he threw knives. And he got a star. Nice. And then we end that row off with normal saber tooth. Much better than weird saber tooth that's not in the TV show. Pretty much it wasn't in the cartoon. I didn't care about it. And I think his mouth opens up. And he squeezes his legs. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if I ever had this one. I had the big one. But, uh... Sweet. It's nice getting all these American ones from KB or whatever. Or Hills. Whatever. American stores. Uh, because I guess we could only get French and English ones back in the day. And then ending it off with Brood. I don't know, some alien guy. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, he's got little clear wings. Yeah, that's a cool figure. Didn't have it as a kid, but I would have played with it. And then we end our normal X-Men off with the, let's go, variations. That's the Iceman that we have with the blue sled. That Nightcrawler's one we have right now. The Sauron C's got red shorts. We have that Storm. Let's pick her up. Yeah, and because they put this inside like this, it always creased her thing when you played with it. But they never changed the art from the black costume. And then I think the middle lit up. This is a cool figure for sure. I definitely enjoyed my Storm toy. Oh, they didn't even change the art. Yeah, so we don't have that Mr. Sinister with the red cape. That Weapon X Wolverine. See, he's got blue shorts. But I think the actual one was red cables. And then that's the Magneto that's also right here but i think they paint more red on his boots here and gloves okay on to x-force which um i think were the coolest figures i think a lot of them are just like made up for this just to look cool so let's start it off with cable and kane uh is that right. cable one Cool figure, had that stuff on his eye like in the cartoon. Uh, it's a weird box, like look how big his arms are. And there's the back of the card. Then what was next? Kane. This guy kind of looks like a bad character. Probably wouldn't have bought him as a kid. Just like, got like a stupid red jacket and silver arm. But, but when you gotta catch them all, you gotta catch them all. Collect them all. Wait, do you have an arm that retracted? Okay, that's actually pretty sick. I would have wanted that. Yeah, look. Okay, cool, cool. You're cool, Kane. And then Shatterstar 1. And then Deadpool. So Shatterstar 1. Cool character. He made a cool appearance in the Deadpool movie where he died right away. We had six swords and like, he just looked awesome. So I always liked, I always liked Shatterstar. I don't know why. Maybe because the figure looked cool. And then Deadpool. All right, I bought this one just recently. Mint card. This all, price of these ones all went up since the movie came out. This one was a hundred bucks. Worth it though. I mean, Deadpool is probably like one of the coolest characters now, so what can you do? But yeah, Deadpool. And I don't have a Strife, but I saw one for sale at Heroes in Woodbridge. But everything there is way too expensive. I feel like the guy just made a collection and he just displays it and doesn't actually want to sell anything. So I'll get that later. Next, forearm, but spelled forearm instead of forearm. And then Warpath 1. So where is my forearm, buddy? There he is. Forearm punching, even though his name is forearm. Cool figure, kind of like Goro, would have played with as a kid. And there's the back of the card. All right, Warpath 2. No, Warpath 1. Warpath 2 is over here with bigger muscles. This guy looked cool. I guess he's like a Native American guy or something. Yeah. Cool outfit, moves around. He's got a gun. I think he moves his arms around when you twist him. 
think I had this one, but like that Warpath 2 looks so much sicker. Next up, we need to find Cable, Gideon, and GW Bridge. So let's see, where's Cable 2? Uh, he's got deep space armor, which is pretty cool. I guess he hangs out with people in the Phoenix Saga. But uh, yeah. Cool outfit. I feel like there was a lot of these ones though. G W Bridge. Oh, this package is pretty beat up. And it's got some moisture damage. I don't know what this guy's deal is, just a dude with guns, cool white hair. Rapid fire gun. His white hair and beard are cool. And got cool colors on his outfit. I'm about it. And then let's find Gideon. Gideon. Okay, he's got a, I guess, a suitcase with a hidden sword because he's a ninja. Cool ponytail. This package is pretty messed up. Sword slash action. I gotta read the back of all these cards one of these days. Uh, one day. Anyways, so so character, I think. Like, here's a briefcase. It's like obviously you're hiding a sword in it. Oh, I grabbed the wrong cable. Uh, I'll change it up. I'll start with that cable and then I'll move to Cannonball. Okay, we got Cable Second Edition with rapid rocket firing action. I feel like they put a lot of weight behind Cable, but I never thought Cable was that cool as a kid. Like, Wolverine's your guy. Stick with Wolverine. Anyways, this guy's got a cool outfit for sure. Uh, cannonball. Okay, so we got Cannonball in pink, and then we've got the Cannonball in purple. And I think I read somewhere that they changed it because they didn't think kids would like the pink as much as they'd like the purple. And I don't know. It's cool to have both. Let's see. I guess you can launch him up off his launch pad. Well, that's actually pretty fun. Okay, and then we have Kane and Cruel. No idea what's up with this guy. He's got the double-fisted weapons. I think it's a hand fan that spins around. Uh, definitely looks cool. No idea what his deal is. Product of the same Weapon X program. Ugh. One day we'll read the back of all these cards. Cruel. This guy was cool. Pink and orange. Such a weird color. And you could like spin his hair around and smack people with it. And he had skulls. Don't ever remember him in the show, but what a cool looking character. I actually bought this while I was driving a press Ferrari around. And I got a picture with the Ferrari steering wheel. And then next we have Cable 3 that we already looked at. And then Grizzly. Grizzly looked cool. He looked like a ripoff of Blanca from Street Fighter. But like, I'm alright with that. He had a cool hammer. And he could smack people with his hammer. But this is definitely just Blanca from Street Fighter. Okay, next on the list, I had to add Mojo and Black Tom because they were only featured in the back photo from the later stuff, like 1995. So let's start with Mojo. You can get him on different cards. You can get him on the other one too, but I only want this size card. He was cool. He had like legs you attached and stuff. Weird looking guy. Never had this as a kid though, but you know, the bigger the figure, the better. Get more plastic for your money. And then Black Tom. I guess he had a tree hand. But yeah, these two guys aren't on the back of any art in this gen. So that's pretty cool. Oh, cousin of Banshee. Hmm. Don't remember him. He looks cool though. Kind of kind of lame. Like oh we got like a white dress shirt. Whatever. Okay, then Sunspot and Shatterstar 2. Don't know what this guy's deal is, but cool looking character for sure. Uh Explosive power punch. Let's see what that looks like. I love these graphics on the back. They give him a mullet? Looks like he has a mullet here. Or is that his bandana? He's a cocky Brazilian. Cool. Then we got Shatterstar 2. So I guess they just gave him more muscle, just like Warpath 2. I think Shatterstar 1 is actually cooler. 
and he can chop with both hands. So that's fun. Okay, then we got Richter in cable four. So Richter is, I don't know his deal, but definitely looks like a glam rock kind of guy. He's got power vibes. Oh yeah, power vibes. What card do I have back here? Banshee. Turn wheel clockwise and release to feel Victor's power vibes. Oh, he vibrates. Ah, that's actually cool. And next is cable four and quirk. So cable four, cool outfit again, uh, yellow stuff, air assault. Whoa, what was this? Pull line straight up from backpack and kill will quickly climb out of danger. Okay, I kinda need to get all these opened up and actually just see the actions they do, that's cool. And quirk, I think he's just like a ram. Do I have a Ram guy here somewhere? Yeah, Quark. We got some goat with guns. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with that as a kid. Sounds like a fun thing to play with. Pull both arms down to lock and push for a double quick draw. Duel. Gun, goat. Then we end that off with Pyro, which is cool because we saw him a lot in the show and I just wanted whatever was in the show. From the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, he shoots out fireballs. Heck yeah. Whew. Next list. Oh, I forgot to do Space X-Men. I'll get to that after this last 1940. Extreme. Extreme is this dude with the goatee. I don't know anything about him. He's got an axe that he attacks with. Adam, the man known as Extreme. Oh, he just throws axes. And then next we have Comcast, mutant hunting hovercraft. So I guess this guy hunted mutants. He's got a gun and a, a hovercraft. A technological wizard. Comcast lets his keyboard do the fighting for him. Cool. I mean, it's a pretty big figure, so it'd be fun to have. Up next is Kill Spree. He's purple and yellow, and looks like he's got dreads. Uh, slashing blade arms, nice. Then we got Warpath 2 with bigger muscles. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and by the way, my other Warpath has a matching card. This package is a little damaged, but whatever. Nice. Cable 5, I don't have yet. I think he's underwater. And then we've got Slayback. Uh, I don't know anything about this guy. The packaging I think was pretty, uh, it was okay condition. He's got extending arms. Pretty much the more rare and the less of an actual character he is on the show, the cooler it is to me, just cause it's like some guy just made this up to sell it. That's a cool looking toy. And for some reason this was painted out, probably cause of the sale price. Awesome toy, for sure. And that ends all of this generation of X-Force. Let's go to our space stuff, which was also in the larger cards of Phoenix Saga. So what I have is Phoenix here. It's the only Jean Grey, I guess, of this kind of, these cards. See, these ones say Phoenix Saga under the X-Men. Saga, Saga, whatever. I think she, her hair lit up or something like that. So she was cool. And then I have Gladiator. This figure looks awesome. I don't know what he does. He gets some space guy who just flies around and punches people kind of like a Superman with a mohawk. And that's all I have. I don't have Corsair, Warstar, or Space Wolverine. I saw Space Wolverine for a hundred bucks of heroes, but I'll just wait. And that ends. Whew. Everything on the right, middle, and down here. So now let's get to Marvel superheroes, starting with the top row. I'm just gonna maybe move some stuff so I can get to them a little easier. Let's start actually with the Marvel Electronic Talking action figures, and I only have a Magneto. 
he talks. I don't know if I'm going to collect all these. They're kind of cool, but it's got the larger card. But it matches all the art on the back, so I might. I wonder if this still talks. Yeah, pretty toast. Oh well. All right, so starting with the Marvel superheroes, let's start with Spider-Man 2. Uh, how do I know which one is Spider-Man 2? So here we have Spider-Man 2. He doesn't have any other accessories, that's how we know it's him. And his gimmick is that he's just very poseable. Silver Surfer. Don't have a Silver Surfer, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. Uh, Venom. There's two Venoms. Which Venom do I have? I have... The 1990 Venom with the weird, awkward legs. But that's okay. Squirt's Alien Liquid. Or you can just pump it right through his chest. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it's this Venom, not this Venom. Next up is Deathlock. Uh, I had this guy as a kid. I don't know what his deal is, but very cool figure. Anyone with a gun that's loaded to a backpack and like you got a half cyborg face is pretty sweet. Oh, you could lift it up and see his brain. Yeah, that was cool. And Spider-Man was shooting a web. We don't have that. We only have the other Spider-Man. Then we need Mr. Fantastic. Thing, Invisible Woman, and the Flaming Torch. Human Torch. <laughs> flaming Torch. <laughs> Human Torch. Nice card. Then we got Mr. Fantastic. This figure, this figure was awesome because all the parts stretched out. I remember really, really liking this as a kid. That was a cool figure for sure. For sure. Then Invisible Woman. I guess she's had invisible parts or something. I feel like there was one that you could put in a freezer and she would disappear. Maybe I'm imagining things. And the thing. Cool figure, but there was a newer there was a thing that came out in like late night mid nineties that I had, which was actually like way sicker than this. Crushed a street pole. Nice. And then the last guy in this set was Annihilus. Uh, I have no idea who he is. Looks cool though. Look at all these price tags of discounts. And then the price goes up. And his secret power was his wings. Huh. Make the wings flap. Okay. Okay, and then 1990, the actual first ones that got released. So we have that Venom, Incredible Hulk. Mine is all yellowed out. And, but I think there was a re-release in 93 or 92. So I think this is a re-release. Yeah, 1993. I don't know if I care so much about having the non-re-release one, but interesting figure. Okay, Spider-Man with the web. Uh, I don't have that Spider-Man. Doctor Doom. I have a Doctor Doom for sure right here. I think it's also 1993, not the original 91. But cool figure for sure. Captain America and the Punisher. So Captain America right here. This is before he was super cool with the new Avengers movie. Shield launcher. Probably would have never picked him as a kid. Gone right to X-Men. I would have taken Extreme over him. And he shoots his shield. Okay, I think there's this Punisher in the top right and there's a Punisher in the bottom left. I don't know if they're the same or different. Uh, I labeled the one on the bottom left Punisher too, but I, I'm actually not sure. So my Punisher looks like pretty old, lots of guns. And he is a uh, 1991. So I'm going to guess, uh, I don't know, original one. Very cool. And then Dr. Octopus. 
definitely a weird character to have in this set of stuff but uh right here it's like actually like a pretty awful action figure um yeah i don't like this one at all don't not one bit okay and before we get to the ones that never had a photo taken on the back let's see if we have a daredevil i feel like daredevil also came in all red oh we actually don't have a daredevil but we do have a invisible woman i think there's a different invisible woman and i only have one invisible woman and then this spider-man uh that looks like is that wall crawling spider-man no that's the other spider-man so I don't have that Spider-Man either, unless it's one of the other ones. And Punisher with a coat. Like Malibu Stacy with a hat. Uh, kind of the same coat as Gambit. So I got Punisher with a coat as well. And ended off with US Agent, which I had no idea who this was, but then after watching all the new Disney shows, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, now we know who US Agent is. So we can be very excited. I bet you this the value of this toy is going to go up now that we know he's actually a cool character. So let's end it off with the ones that were never pictured on the back. Green Goblin. We got him right. Right here. Interesting looking face. But cool character. Oh, does he have this... Oh, he's got his Green Goblin uh, hoverboard thing. Sweet. Same Punisher. Spider-Man who climbs walls. That's this one. He's got his, his weird hands. Pretty much the worst, I think, Spider-Man mask ever designed. But that's okay. Cool how these cards were all, they had like a protective thing behind it. The Amazing Spider-Man with real web climbing action. Um, Iron Man, I don't have. And we are going to end it off with... Thor, who is also a cool character now, but definitely wasn't cool right here. Smashing Hammer action. This figure actually looks like kind of trash too. But now we know he's awesome. Uh, and that's, that's my collection. I hope you guys like it. I also have a bunch of 10 inch figures and some Spider-Man playset and stuff, but Hope you enjoyed going through my checklist, checking everything out. Wish me luck on finishing this off. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll make more toy videos. Let me know what you want to know about X-Men stuff and X-Men toys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hopefully you already liked this video.